Welcome to another episode of Real Inglewood Moments. I'm your host, Big B Ray. I got my young homie here with me, Inglewood Mo. Indeed, indeed. He gonna tell you a little bit about how it was for him growing up in Inglewood. And you know, things he got going on right now, I believe driving rigs and shit, driving trucks. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he's doing some things. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to holler at him and see what it do. So, where you grew up at, Mo? I grew up in Inglewood, California. 111th place, man. 11th you know place. 3516. 3516. Man, I don't know why everybody I ask, man, where they grew up at in Inglewood, they know the address, man. And, uh, shoot, because you know. You got a real Inglewood dude in front of you. You're going to know where you live at. Well, fuck it. Let me get mine. It's 3728 West 111th Street, man. 90303, man. Because you know a real Inglewood nigga going to know your shit, man. You're going to know your shit. you going to know your shit for sure. Talk. It's real tough, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So what's been going on with you, man? Shit, you been just chilling, living life, huh? Oh, yeah. Just uh, making a coat down the family. Making sure uh, these bills get paid and... You know, I'm taking care of mine, you know, my family and my, you know, those who took care of me. Right, you right, know, right, can't right. do it for themselves no more, so, right. you know. Yeah, that's good to hear, man. That's good to hear, man, yeah. for sure, man. Well, look, man, you know, I got a couple of questions for you about growing up in Inglewood. I mean, I know you have some nice, fun moments. I know when I was a kid, I had some good, fun moments running through Inglewood, man. You know, whether it was, you know what I'm saying, being destructive or, you know what I'm saying, just out there, you know, having fun, man. You know what I'm saying, Inglewood when I was a youngster, you know what I mean? So, you know, you got any real Inglewood moments, man, about when, you know, you was having, you know, doing your thing in Inglewood. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Uh, well, uh, what comes to mind, the first, uh, then it comes to mind is uh, an incident that happened with me and uh, your little homie, uh, little B Rat. Mm -hmm. My big homie, but his little homie. Right, right, right. Uh, um, you know, I had a Jeep Cherokee, you know, it was great, you know, uh, rolling, going through uh, Inglewood like we normally do. Right. But we uh, was on the other side, which is. Uh, by uh, Centinella, by Centinella Hospital, uh, Legend, Legend Crips. Over there off of Freeman or something over there. Yeah, off of Freeman. Right. And there was a little store over there in my car, uh, either overheated, uh, I don't know what happened exactly, but uh, we was under the hood, and there's a cat that I knew named uh, Lowdown mm -hmm. that I encountered. Not that I knew, not that I knew the cat, but uh, we had uh, crossed paths a few times. Right, 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 right. And uh, he rolled up, looked at me, and was like, you know, gave that nod, like, okay. It's like he was popping, and uh, drove off. Mm -hmm. Now, this, now this is a guy that I, you know, I know as being a, a, a gunner. Right. So obviously, he didn't have his gun on him at that time. Because, you know, it would have been two park boys laid down, because we wasn't strapped at all. Okay. So, um... He roll off, and uh, I take off. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, fuck the car. I'm out. Right, right, right. And, 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 and little Rat, like, you know, he like, nigga, why you bought out? Right. You know, this nigga, you know, I'm like, man, this motherfucker is, you know, is a gunner. Right, right. You know, if you would have got out, we would have squat. Other than that, you know, anything like that, you know, just fighting is my shit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Nigga got down with other st stuff too, but I know he was known for being a gun. He wasn't no, he he wasn't with the hands. Right, right. Uh, um, so, you know, that was like a funny little, you know, thing that I, you know, we that we had going yeah, on. Yeah, it's funny because I, I, you know, I know little B Rag. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. like, man, look, man, I'm not going nowhere. Yeah. No, that that leads me to an incident that happened before, uh, uh, once again. Um, we was at his place of residence uh, on Imperial. It was on, it was on, on Imperial and uh, Prairie. What year you think this was, man? The home, the, the, the home, the big homie. Take us to the year, man. I want to paint the picture, man. Paint the picture what of year what was year it was. And you know what I'm saying? You know, paint me the picture, man. Let me, because I know I was there. The big homie Ken Dog would know, because Ken Dog just got out, uh -huh. and I brought Ken Dog over there. Okay. Uh, it, it had to be uh, 
ninety. Take a guess at it, man. Oh, it was, it was about uh, ninety four. Ninety four. Okay. Ninety like ninety four. Okay. Um, the manager of the apartment was Hispanic. Mm -hmm. Her nephew was from 18th Street. Mm -hmm. The the homie had his music up. We was chilling. And uh, you know, having a good time, I brought the homeboy over there because he had just got out. Right. He ain't been, I ain't, I've never I've never met Ken Dog. Mm -hmm. Uh the homie little the homie little trim from IF. You know what I'm saying? He's fucking with he's fucking with the homie. Like, nigga, the homie just got out. The, your homie, your big homie just got out. Like, nigga, on the real. Got with the homie, brought him to the other homies. They know, you know what I'm saying? My brother was over there. Little rat.